What's going on guys? John Elder here from CodyB.com and in this video, we're going to look at the box layout for Kivi and Python. Alright guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to look at the box layout. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodyB.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. That's all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee at just $49, which is insanely cheap. All right, we are moving right along with our Kivi playlist here. In this video, I want to look at the box layout. And up until now, we've been using the grid layout. And there's several different layouts that come with Kivi that you can use. And the box layout is a pretty important one. And you can see I've got some examples here. Box layout basically means stacked things either horizontally or vertically. So left to right or up and down. So here we have horizontally, left to right. We've just got, you know, three buttons here. Here we have those same three buttons up and down. And I'll also show you how to change the button size and sort of move them around, position them accordingly uh, in the box layout. So that's what we're going to look at in this video. So I've got a file called box.py and a box.kv file. This is the same exact code that we were working on in the last video. So if you missed that video, check the link in the comment section below for the playlist. Uh, we're going to have to make some changes to this though. So right off the bat here, our color.kv file should now be box.kv. And let's see, we don't really need this stuff, but we'll just leave it. All right, my grid layout. Let's rename this to just my layout because we're not going to use the grid layout, any, grid layout anymore. You can name it box layout, but you don't have to. I'll just say my layout. And then down here, we'll have to change that as well. So we, we want to return my layout instead of my grid layout. And our class is still awesome app, right? And we're returning that. Inside of here, we don't need any of this. We can get rid of that. Uh, we don't really need any of this. We're not going to do any, any stuff with pressing the button. So I'm just going to put pass here so that there's something in here. Okay, so this is our basic starter code. And let's kind of clean this up a little. Okay, and now our Kivi file here. We don't need this. And we called this my layout. We didn't call it my grid layout. And let's just get rid of all of this stuff. Start over from scratch. Okay, so we've got my layout. Inside of here, we want a box layout, right? And the first thing you want to do is set the orientation. Now, this could be vertical or horizontal. It really doesn't matter. So let's go horizontal first. That's left to right, like the horizon, right? Okay. Now, let's just put a button here real quick. And let's say text equals hello world. And let's make a couple of these. So I'll just kind of copy and paste these in. So let's say hello world, goodbye world, and how about uh, I'm hungry. I'm a little hungry. <laughs> All right, so this one will say I'm hungry. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this and run it just to see what we've got here. So Python box.py. And when we do, we've got three horizontal buttons and they're shoved way down here in the corner, bottom left hand corner, and which is obviously not what we want. We want to expand these to the entire size of the app. And so we've already looked at this in past videos, how to do that. We just come up here to the sort of top section of our box layout and set the size equal to root.width and root.height. So let's go ahead and save this and run it. And we get now three horizontal buttons, stretch the whole thing. Hello world, goodbye world, and I'm hungry. Sums up life pretty much, right? <laughs> All right. So we could change this from horizontal to vertical. And when we do that, save it and run it. Now we get the buttons going up and down vertically, right? So that's in a nutshell, the box layout. And this is kind of handy for mobile devices. You know, your phone is sort of in a box layout usually, right? Things like that. So very cool. So what else can we do with this? Well, we can set spacing and padding for all of these buttons. So let's go spacing. And let's say just 20. Now, notice I'm in this sort of top level of our box layout. I'm not putting this in the buttons themselves. This will apply to all of these buttons. So spacing is the space between the buttons, right? In Last time we ran this, they were all right up against each other. If we run this now, you can see there's 20 pixels of space in between each one. So that's nice. 
And we can also put padding around them, around the outside. So let's try that. So let's go padding. And let's just say 50, you put a lot of padding around all of them. Save this and run it. And now we've got padding all the way around them, which is kind of cool. If you want to look and see what that does, if we change this from vertical to horizontal, save this and run it. I'm just having fun now. <laughs> right? We get this same thing, padding all the way around them. And that's pretty cool. Uh, let's change this back to vertical. We can also change the button size and position. So here in our last button, let's play around with this. Let's give this a size underscore hint. And this is a tuple. And let's just say 0.5 and 0.5, or you could put 0 0.5 either way, it doesn't really matter. If we save this and run it, you see that our box is now half the size. And this is kind of cool because it'll keep that proportion as you resize your app, right? It'll still be 0.5 by 0.5, which maybe you want that, maybe you don't. When we get it down a lot, you know, it's kind of hard to even read this. So that might not be what you want. If you want to sort of hard code the height and the width, we can do that too. We can set a width and let's put this at like 100 and let's give it a height of like 50. Now, if we just leave it like this, this won't work. Right, we have to change the size hint to none for each of these x, y coordinates. And that's what that's what those 0.5s were, x, y coordinates. So, okay, well, coordinate, sort of. Anyway, so we set that to none, hard code this to width and height of 50. Let's give this a run, Let's see what it looks like. Now we get a button that's hard coded 100 by 50. And even if we change, you know, the size of our app, it does not change the size of that button. It will stay that size no matter what. So, you know, there are certain circumstances where you may want that. So that's how you do that. Now, this thing is all the way over here. How do we sort of center this? Let's do that. And first, let's make this a little bigger, 200 by 50. We can, just like we gave it a size hint, we can give it a position hint. And this is a little bit different. We're not doing a tuple here. This is more like a dictionary. And we can set this, we can set the center of the X coordinate. And what do we want to put that as? Let's put it as halfway across the screen. So 0 0.5, right? So this is a, a value from zero to one, halfway across of so that is 0 0.5, or I guess you could go 0 0.5 if you want to be fancy. It doesn't matter, either way it works. So save this and run it. And now we get our button centered right in the middle. Again, it'll keep that centering but it won't change the size because we've hard coded the, heart, the height and the width of that button. So that's kind of cool. We could do the same thing without the height and the width here. We could comment this out and change this back to 0.5 by 0.5. Save this and run it. And we get a slightly bigger button, but now it's you know in proportion, it will change as we resize it which is kind of cool too, you might want that. And I put 0 0.5 by 0 0.5, you can do anything you want here. So, you know, we could play around with this. And these are also numbers between zero and one. So if we set one here and like 0 0.2 here, oops, there we go, like that, we save this and run it. We're gonna get the same one Y coordinate here as the rest of these but the width is only 0.2 of, you know, this is 20% basically of the whole, which is this big, right? This is one or 100%, 0.2 is 20% of that. So you could put five of these, one, two, three, four, five, five times 0.2 is one, right? And so that's how that works. Uh, likewise, we could scrunch this sucker down a little bit. We could say, I don't know, 0.1, by one. So if we want to make it all the way wide, but skinny, which I think looks pretty good, but I have no graphic skills whatsoever. Whoa, that is too skinny, right? So maybe we want to try what? 0.2 or even 0.3. Play around with this. This is just fun stuff, right? And so we get kind of a more normal sized button. And again, it will keep its proportion as we resize this thing. 
So that's the box layout. Pretty simple. Uh, you know, just depends on what you're building and what you want to do, which kind of layout you want to use, box layout, grid layout. There's a couple more we'll probably look at, uh, but kind of box layout and grid layout are the big ones that you can use a lot of the time. But like I said, we'll look at all of them in the next few videos, but uh, pretty cool. Really, the only thing is to set your orientation. Remember padding and spacing. If you want to change the size of your button. That's not really a, so much of a box layout thing as a, you know, this is just how you resize things, right? And uh, pretty cool. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. So you pay just $49 to access all my courses, over 47 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 100,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.